Hello everyone. Welcome to Spanish Analysis Tutorials. This is the second lecture related to compressor. So compressor is a mechanical device which is used to compress or increase the pressure of a fluid, usually gases. To increase the pressure of gases and also increase the temperature of gases. So in this picture we will discuss about compressor. So uh, a compressor is used to compress uh, natural gas which is methane. Compressor is used to compress methane from one atmospheric pressure and thirty degrees centigrade to five atmospheric pressure. What is the outlet temperature of compressor and what is the adiabatic efficiency of the compressor? So this is the compressor. The uh, inlet pressure of the compressor is 1 atmospheric pressure and the inlet temperature of methane gas is 30 degrees centigrade. The outlet pressure is 5 ppm and what is the outlet temperature is unknown to us and the efficiency of the compressor is also unknown to us. So we will use Spanheises uh, to determine the unknown quantity which is the outlet temperature and the adiabatic efficiency of the compressor. So first of all open the spanhysis. This is spanhysis version 10. Uh, first of all we will select the component list then load package and after that we will uh, go to simulation environment. So first of all click on add. So various component list will appear. Methane, methane, propane, so uh, CH4 is usually methane, so methane, methane, so this is methane, this one is methane, we can add up and methane is added, then come to the fluid package, click on add, so we will use these other various fluid packages. So uh, these are Pen Robinson in RTM so I'm using the Pen Robinson equation of state. So Pen Robinson equation. Click on Pen Robinson equation. So this is okay. The property this is the green uh, sign shows that our fluid package is correct fluid package. So if this is a uh, red then we will Select some other fluid package from these fluid packages. The third step is go to the simulation. Click on simulation. The simulation window will appear. So, in the pressure changer, in the pressure changer, we will see the click on pressure changer. So, these are the pump, well, compressor, etc. So, this is the material stream and this is the energy stream. So, click on uh, so there are two material stream inlet and outlet so click on this one drag it this is the inlet stream double click on the stream this is the stream name let's do name to it inlet inlet the temperature is the temperature is 20 the temperature is uh, 30 degree centigrade and one atmosphere pressure so 30 degree centigrade is 30 degrees centigrade 30 degrees centigrade and the pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure so 1 atmospheric pressure is equal to 101.3 kilopascal and the uh, molar flow rate so we assume the molar flow rate is 100 so we are assuming that the molar flow rate of methane gas is 100 kg mole per hour. So 100 kg mole per hour. We are assume, assuming it. So the molar flow rate is 100 kg mole per hour. So this is the inlet and the composition of the inlet methane gas is, is power methane. So the inlet composition is 1 mole fraction is 1 so ok click on ok this stream is specified close it 
use another stream, output stream. We we'll double click on it. This is stream number two, so it is output stream. Output stream. UTS name outlet. UTLUT outlet stream. The temperature is unknown to us. And the pressure is given. The pressure is uh, uh, 5 atm. 5 atm. Pressure is 5 atm. So the outlet pressure is 5 atm. 5 atm. We equal to 506 kilopascal. The molar flow rate is same, which is 100 kilogram mole per hour. Come to the composition. Again, it is power methane at the outlet of the compressor. So, is small pressure is 1. Closer. Come to the compressor. This is the compressor. This is the expander. Click on compressor. Drag it. This. Double click on it. Compressor will by the call, its name is K100. So I am giving it, giving it name compressor. So I am giving it, using the compressor, the inlet stream, the pair to the inlet, which we have already specified. And this is the energy. This is the output. So output, we cannot. This is the output stream. So you the equal energy stream. So you see energy of the compressor. So it is okay. Right? Now we will close R if you see this is the worksheet come to the worksheet. So our question was to determine the output temperature. So this is the inlet output and this is the energy of the compressor. So the outlet temperature of the compressor is 192 degrees centigrade, which is determined by the S156. So the molar flow rate is same. Now we can check the other properties. Uh, similarly, come to the design. This is the compressor design parameters. So the efficiency is the efficiency of compressor is 75. So we can change the efficiency. Suppose the efficiency of compressor is uh, suppose 80. Then what will be the output temperature? So click on it. The output temperature. You can see the output temperature. Parameter. Worksheet. This is the outlet temperature in this case is 183 so the outlet temperature change is, is I am changing the uh, efficiency of the uh, compressor so, so this is all about the this is the compressor compressor we can add stream, we can add this is a material stream composition, so select this is the material stream, material stream, similarly we can add the composition stream, composition stream, this is the composition stream, similarly we can add for group table energy stream selected so the energy stream so we can close it and we can use the compressor the compressor compressor The composition and the energy stream. So the temperature in the temperature is 30 degree, the output is 183, the inlet pressure is 101, output is 506. This is the motor chloride, and this is the mass chloride, this is the heat, 
and then the end of an output composition. So this is all about the compressor. Thank you very much for your attention. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe.